Namaskar, hello and welcome once again to NCRT's live phone-in program. In this maths class, we are going to learn lines and angles. And this is the first part of this topic. Um, the second part and the third part will be followed in the next session. But uh, for now, uh, we are beginning this topic, lines and angles. If you have any questions, queries, please send it on our email ID, which is dth.class9 at the rate ciet.nic.in. You're all watching us on PME with their channel number 9 and especially the 9th standard students. You can send your queries and questions even through our YouTube channel, which is NCERT official. In the live chat box, just write down your queries and send it to us. It's a very simple process. And uh, we have an expert with us. Uh, she'll be solving a few questions regarding lines and angles and she'll be taking your queries as well. Let's meet her. We have with us Ms. Usha Pillay. Welcome, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am is from Campion School, Bhopal. And uh, if you want to know about the details, the schedule of our programs for the rest of the week and for the next week as well, please visit our website, CIET and Swayam Prabha, for all these details. And uh, yes, if uh, you have any queries, like I said, please feel free to send. So let's begin this discussion and ask ma'am, uh, ma'am, what are you going to explain in this particular session to our viewers and students? Thank you, Tanvir. Here in today's session, we are studying lines and angles. Already we are studied about lines and angles in seventh class. From fifth onwards, you are already studied about lines line segment, ray, and angles, different types of angles. So today I am replacing that portion, but you are already studied. First, we have to start with a line segment. Already you are studied. What is a line segment definition? All of you know, and the diagram is given here. A part of a line with two endpoints is called a line segment, and it has a definite measure. Here we are given a line segment AB. And it has two endpoints A and B, and we can give a definite measure for this line segment. Now, what about ray? A ray means a part of a line with one endpoint is called a ray, and its one end extends infinitely, and therefore it has no definite length. So here, uh, endpoint is here O. From starting from O, OP is a ray. B is extending on one side, so we can say it has not a definite length. Then line. What is a line? Always we are using this word line. Line segment that extends both sides infinitely is called a line, and it has no definite length. A PQ is a ray. We can note it by two letters in English, or we can write it by a small letter. So PQ extends both sides infinitely. So now about angles we can study. These all things you are studied from fifth onwards, fifth, six, seven, eight. So two rays with a common endpoint is called an angle. And here AOB is an angle given. Here it has one vertex O, two rays OA and OB. It has any measure. Now we are already studied about different types of angles. So what are these different types of angles? Starting from acute angle, we can say angle whose measure is between 0 degree and 90 degree is called an acute angle. Here we are given a 62 degree angle at this. It lies between 0 and 90. We can read so many examples, 30 degree, 45 degree, 50 degree, 60 degree, whatever. We can say all these angles which lies between 0 and 90 is called acute angle. Then already studied about right angles. An angle whose measure is 90 degrees is called a right angle. And we can see these rays are perpendicular to each other. So the measure is 90 degrees, so it is a right angle. Now the third one is an obtuse, obtuse angle. What is an obtuse angle? An angle whose measure is between 90 degree and 180 degree is called an obtuse angle. The 135 degree angle is given, it's an obtuse angle. There are also so many examples, 120 degree, 100 and 140, 175. Now, next, what about the straight angle? What is meant by a straight angle? An angle in a straight line. 
but the measure of a straight angle is 180 degree so we can say a straight angle has a measure of 180 degree if it has three or more than three also angles we can say if the sum of the angles in a straight line is 180 degree now reflex angle an angle whose measure is measure lies between 180 and 360 degree is called a reflex angle there one angle is given this measure, this is the reflex angle and the measure of this angle is 240 degree. So another one is complete angle. What is this? Complete angle measures. An angle whose measure is 30, 360 degree is called a complete angle. That an angle around a point is 360 degree and we can say it as a complete angle. And there are so many types of angles, so we can study about some more angles that are first complementary angles. What is meant by complementary angles? This you are studying in seventh class. Any two angles whose sum is 90 degree is called complementary angles. For example, 60 and 30. 60 plus 30 is 90. Both are complementary angles. What is the complement of 60? 30. We can write. Complement of 30 as 60. How to find it? 90 minus 60 equal to 30. Or 90 minus 30 is 60. You know, supplementary angles. Two angles whose sum is 180 degree is called complementary angles. That is 120 plus 60. Two angles are given. The sum is 180. So we can say both are complementary angles. It is not necessary these are adjacent angles. Because any two angles whose sum is 180 degree are called supplementary angles. Now we can study about adjacent angles. Always students are saying a wrong definition about adjacent angles. But here you have to understand what is meant by adjacent angles. Two angles with a common vertex and a common arm which should do not overlap if we are not writing this, which do not overlap, you cannot say they are adjacent. For example, here we are given angles 1 and 2, that is A, B, D and D, B, C are adjacent angles. But if we are saying A, B, D and A, B, C are adjacent angles, it is wrong because it is overlapping. This portion is coming twice, that is overlapping. So we cannot say that are adjacent angles, that means the angles lies on either side of the common arm. Common arm means common side is here and the B is the common vertex and the angles on either side of O D D is known as adjacent angles here. So it is clear adjacent angles means common arm with bono side means an angle angles for adjacent angles for there. Now what about linear angles? Two adjacent angles whose sum is 180 degree are called linear pair angles. Here 1 and 2 are linear pair angles. So we can say the sum of angle 1 and angle 2 equal to 180 degree. Always sum of linear pair angles is 180 degree and we can call it as linear pair axiom. Now about some more type of lines that is parallel lines. Lines which do not intersect are called parallel lines. Here we have shown AB parallel to CD. That is, the distance between these two lines at each and every point is same. That is the importance about parallel lines. Then intersecting lines. Two lines which intersect at a point are called intersecting lines, and the intersecting point is called point of intersection. That is, A, B, and C, D are two intersecting lines, and O is the intersecting point. Here we can see four angles, and we can say the, about the angles nest that are vertically opposite angles. The pair of angles made at opposite sides of the point of intersection are called vertically opposite angles. Here in this figure, we can see angle 1 and 3 this is 1 is opposite to 3 so we can say these are vertically opposite angles and also angles 2 and 4 are opposite angles so these are pair of vertically opposite angles now 
more about some lines we can say concurrent lines lines which passes through the same point are called concurrent lines and we know that there are infinite number of lines we can draw passing through a given point and if we are given two points we can draw only exactly one line passing through two given points these are something about lines now we can start with the some of the theorems and properties given in this chapter the first theorem given is if two lines intersect each other then the pair of vertically opposite angles are equal up to now you are only studied about the properties in the book now you have to prove the theorem so so how to prove it and what are the steps you have to write this you have to understand from nine to onwards so for proving the theorem first we have to draw a figure here we are given a b and c d are two intersecting lines and the intersect point of intersection is o and the angles are shown so what is given in this theorem from the theorem itself you have to write what is given and to do prove that is from the figure you have to write what is to prove otherwise some of the students are taking two lines intersect each other given pair of vertically opposite angles are equal this is not given and to prove this is given in the theorem from the figure we have to write that is from the figure we can write what is given in this theorem ab and cd are two intersecting lines in the circuit o this is the given part now we can prove something what is to prove vertically opposite angles are equal that is angle aoc equal to angle bod and angle aod equal to angle boc these are the vertically opposite angles now how to prove it here in this figure we are given aob is a straight line so we can say the sum of these two angles angle aoc and angle boc is 180 that is angle aoc plus angle boc equal to 180 degree in a direction now here cod is also a straight line so we can say this sum of these two angles is these two angles is also 180 that is angle boc plus bod equal to 180 from this first and second equation we can see rhs are same that is 180 degree so we can equate rhs angle aoc plus angle boc equal to angle boc plus angle bod here boc is common it will cancel so we can write it as angle aoc equal to angle bod by comparing lhs of both equations we can get a pair of vertically opposite angles in the same way we can prove angle aod equal to angle boc for that we can say aob is a straight line and sum of these two angles is 180 degree when we are comparing this angle will cancel and we will get angle aod is equal to angle boc in this way we can prove this theorem all the proof of the theorems are so important because you are studying first time and you have to understand what are the steps we have to write suppose there is a construction is in the theorem after to prove we have to write construction also here in this question in this theorem there is no construction now after explaining all these properties and about the angles and lines and properties theorems we can apply these properties in questions and solve some questions now the first question is in this figure lines ab and cd intersect at o and if angle aoc plus boe equal to 70 degree and angle bod equal to 40 degree find angle boe this boe this much and now the reflex angle coe coe is this so we can say this much the remaining part is reflex angle so what is given in this question here also from the question we have to write given to find so what is given ab and cd are two intersecting lines now also we are given the sum of these two angles aos angle aoc plus angle boe is equal to 70 degree and also angle bod equal to 40 degree now what to find to find angle boe from this sum uh, we had to find angle boe 
and also we had to find the flex angle COE. So for that, first we bought the angle. Here you can see angle AOC and here we are given this angle BOD equal to 40 degree. But what can you say about these two angles? These are vertically opposite angles. So we can say both the measures are same and therefore angle AOC equal to angle BOD equal to 40 degree. So we can substitute the value of AOC, that is AOC is 40. Here AOC plus BOE equal to 70, so we can substitute the value. Therefore, angle BOE is equal to 70 minus 40 is 30. Now, first part is over. Now, we had to find this reflex angle COE. Before finding reflex angle, we had to find angle COE. Then, here in this figure, we are given angle AOC plus angle COE plus angle BOE equal to 180. This is straight angle property. Uh, angle is known as straight line. Straight line ki measure hai 180 degree. So, we are already given AOC plus BOE equal to 70 degree. So, we can substitute the value and if we get angle COE equal to 180 minus 70. That is 110 degree. So, we can easily find reflex angle COE. COE is this. That is 110 so we had to find the remaining portion. The remaining portion how to find? The complete angle is 360 degree. The point around, uh, the angle around the point is 360 degree. So we can subtract this 110 from 360. We get the angle 250 degree by using complete angle property. In this way, we can solve this question. Now, by the same properties, we can solve next question applying these properties in figure line 6y and mn in the second row if angle poy equal to 90 degree and a ratio b these two angles ratio is given as two ratio three find angle c how to find it so for that what is given in this question line 6y and mn in the second row angle poy equal to 90 degree a ratio B is 2 ratio 3. All these things are given. But we have to find angle C. This much angle. This angle we had to find. So for that what to do? Here we are given angle P of Y equal to 90 degree. So the next angle is also P of X, P of X equal to 90. Both are equal to 90 degree. A ratio B equal to 2 ratio 3. So we can take this angle as ratios as a equal to 2x and b equal to 3x. So, what is a plus b? We are already given as 90 degree. So, we can put the values 2x plus 3x equal to 90 and 5x equal to 90 degree. So, we can say x equal to 90 upon 5. By dividing 90 by 5, we get 80. Now, for finding c, if we are having b, angle b, then we can easily find c. So, what is b here? equal to 3x. So, we can find value of b. b equal to 3 into 18 is 54 degree. But, you know, b plus c is equal to, here this sum of these two angles is 180 degree. Because linear there. So, when we are substituting these values, we get c equal to 180 minus this b. That is 54. That is 126 degree. In this way, we can find the different types of angles given. Now in the next question, we are given this angle x plus y equal to w plus z. We are not given intersecting lines because you have to think about that. Always students are doing this kind of mistake by taking already x plus y equal to 180. Here we are not given AOB is a straight line. So we cannot take x plus y equal to 180. We have to prove that because AOB is a straight line, we have to prove. So, what is given, given in this question? X plus Y equal to W plus Z. And we have to prove AOB is a straight line. So, what is the straight angle property? 180 degree. We have to find the sum of these two. Any two angles is 180. That is X plus Y equal to 180 or W plus equal to 180. For that, we are given X plus Y equal to W plus Z. So, we can write x plus y plus w plus z, the 
sum of the angles around the point is 360 degree that is complete angle property we can substitute the value w plus z in place of no x plus y in place of w plus z that is x plus y plus x plus y equal to 360 so we can write it as twice of x plus y equal to 360 That is x plus y equal to 360 upon 2 180 degree. If the sum of these two angles is 180, we can say this AOB is a straight line. And this way, we can prove more questions. Okay, ma'am. Now uh, okay. we've got last two minutes left. So uh, can we give a few questions to our students as homework? Yes, this question. You, they can do from 6.1 exercise as homework, but can, can we explain this? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, let's make it the last question. Yes, yes. In figure, Q Q is a line, and ray O R is perpendicular to line P Q. So O S is another ray lying between rays O P and O R. Prove that R O the angle R O S equal to half of angle Q O S minus angle P O S. Always students are having. Doubt in this question. How to prove it? It is very simple. You are already given P Q is a line, O R is perpendicular to P Q, and O S is a ray given in between these two. We had to prove angle R O S equal to half of angle Q O S minus angle P O S. We are given O R is perpendicular to P Q, so angle P O R is equal to angle Q O R. Both are equal. Equal. Then we can say. P O R is equal to P O S plus S O R. Why we are writing this? To prove these terms are given in proof. So we have to use these angles. Angle P O S plus S O R equal to. In this angle Q O R, we can write Q O S minus this small angle S O R. So we can take both the angles on left side. S O R plus S O R equal to Q angle Q O S minus angle P O S. If we are taking these two angles, sum two angle S O R equal to angle Q O S minus angle P O S. That is, angle S O R is equal to one by two into angle Q O S minus angle P O S. So, if we had to prove this this type of question, first we had to see which angles are given, and if we had to take that angles in the given part, and if we can solve very easily this kind of proofs, and the uh, For the first exercise, one or two questions are left, so you can do these two questions. So one question is left, so you can do as homework and try to do it. And if any doubts, you can ask me in my personal number. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am, for uh, solving these questions. For letting the students know that if there are any errors, they can correct it. Um, thank you for being here for giving us your time. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you to all the viewers, students as well for watching this session. And uh, ma'am, try and solve uh, a few questions. If there are still any questions left that you are unable to solve, please feel free to send them on our email ID, which is dth dot class nine at the rate ciet dot nic dot in. Our sessions are yet not over. Up next is the social science session for all the class nine students on Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act Part Two. So stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Keep on watching PME with their channels. And also, before leaving, just want to remind you once again: if you haven't sent the national anthem, the recording of your national anthem yet on Rashtragan dot in, then please do it. This is on the occasion of 75th Independence. and stay where the government of is india has launched azadi ka amrit mahotsav so participate in it register yourself and yes uh, let's celebrate the occasion together uh, and be proud indians thank you so much once again take care namaste